What's up guys, this is Robert and this video is sponsored by Lancer Tactical. So today we are going to be unboxing some stuff that Lancer Tactical gave us, including one of their new Generation 2 M4s and some other goodies. Let's go ahead and open this box. Now we're gonna open it. Three, two, one, and whoa, here we go. Looks like there's a lot of stuff in here. Oh, cool, actually. So, looks like we got a, we got a lot of Lancer Tactical patches here. These circle patches that say Lancer Tactical on them. I'm gonna take this stuff out first and then show you. So, we got some t-shirts. One, two, three. Three t-shirts, one banner. Are these dead rags? Yeah, it looks like these are dead rags. Three dead rags. Um. Ooh, cool. New bios for the video. 5,000 and 100 rounds of 0.28 biodegradables. Cool. Yeah. We got a nice letter from Lancer Tactical explaining about their new Generation 2 M4s. Greetings from Lancer Tactical. We enjoy watching your videos and love your fun, creative vibe. Thanks again for doing this review and enjoy the Lancer. So thank you very much, Lancer Tactical. I appreciate that. Um, looks like we have four black, oh, more patches. You never have enough patches. It also comes with four of these black Lancer Tactical baseball caps, which have three places for patches here, here, and here. They also have holes for ventilation. Here we go. And last but not least, the Generation 2 M4 they sent us. Okay, so now I'm gonna be unboxing this Lancer Tactical Generation 2 entry level LT04 in black. Let's open it. Here we go. And whoa, it's pretty nice. Looks like we have a high cap magazine, four grip, more BBs. So these are 0.2 gram regular BBs. Okay, we have a manual here. A bag that includes two stickers, a postcard to register your gun, and a card with a target on one side and a picture on the other. Here we have a unjamming slash cleaning rod for your barrel. Here's a battery charger with a light. I'll talk about how this works later. Um, a 9.6 volt battery and the M4 here. Oh, pretty nice. Okay. I love your baby. Dad, I can still up the boxes. So, attached to the trigger guard is a PVC Lancer Tactical patch. Here it is. So here's the high cap included with this gun. We have a plastic grip foregrip here. It works like any other average foregrip. You unscrew it on the bottom, slide it onto a Picatinny rail, and screw it like this. 9.6 volt battery. All the externals on this gun are made of a strong nylon polymer. It's not like any other cheap plastic where it'll just easily break. This is a strong polymer, um, which means you can count on this thing out in the field. So we have this handle slash sight here with simple iron sights. You can unscrew it and take it off the Picatinny rail if you want to here. And if you want to, you can put a different sight on. So you unscrew these two knobs. It should just fall off like that. So it has two side adjustments for windage and levitation. Here and here, you can flip it up to do this small hole or the bigger one. I would recommend keeping it on the smaller one, it's more accurate. So it needs to come back on. Come back on, mister, there. Then you can just put this back on, tighten it. When you get the gun at first, some things may be stiff, but just use it more and it'll loosen up and work perfectly. Now what I noticed and I actually like is how the charging handle here has this extended piece out on the left side. So most normal M4 charging handles just, they're kind of a different shape and they just have a little piece. You have to, you have to just grab that little piece. This is extended. Now you have to grab this piece. It's an actual lock. Let's say if I grab the other side, it won't work. I need this piece. It's nice for me because I'm left-handed. I could just come here for right-handed. You could either that or like that. We have a our rail integration system here. It comes with these rail covers on. You can just push this button down, slide them off. If you want to take the rails off, you pull this ring back, 
We'll take the bottom one off, top one off. That's how any other simple M4 works with the hand, hand guard or rails. And then you can pull it down, put them back on like that, and there. It's cool, it's pretty easy to use. We have a bayonet attachment point here. I actually do have a bayonet or a fake one. Um, so you could slide your bayonet on, attach it here. Sling mount here, which is nice. It comes with a six point crane stock. One, two, three, four, five, six. Um, to take it off, you pull it down and out like any other M4 stock. To take the back cover off, you pinch these two knobs here. The back cover should come off like this. That's where you'd insert your batteries. And then you can put this back in. There. Some M4s, the back of the buffer tube has a cap, some don't. This one does not have a cap. So the wire just sticks out like this. Um, that's where you'd plug in your 9.6 volts. This probably does not have battery. It does. Okay, so this 9.6 has battery in it, but I'm just gonna use my fully charged one anyway, because most of the time, guns come with batteries not completely charged. That's semi-auto and fully auto. And to put your stock back on, just do the same thing. There. And this field strips like any gun. This side, you push the bolt out from here and you take an Allen key, unscrew this, and you take these two bolts out here and here and pull the upper and lower receiver apart. Even though all the externals on this gun are made out of a strong nylon polymer, all the internals, including the gears and piston teeth, are made of metal. It also comes with a metal version two gearbox, which is nice. And it includes a quick change spring so you can change your FPS more easily. The good thing about that is this is an entry level gun and most entry level guns don't have quick change springs. This one does have a quick change spring. So you can um, change your FPS easily. In, in case you ever just wanna bring this into like CQB or something, you can put a lower spring in this outdoor higher spring um, so this gun shoots just under 400 fps so it should be good for most outdoor airsoft playing fields um, it comes stock with an m120 aeg spring in it but i'm just going to chrono this gun anyway one thing i noticed about this is how it has a metal trigger here which is nice it also comes with a 6.03 millimeter type 4 inner barrel for increased range and consistency but what i noticed from while i'm talking about this is just moving the selector switch is it has a really snug and nice tight selector switch. When you move it and put it in semi, it's not gonna get out of semi unless you move it yourself. Full auto, it just stays there, it's so tight. And I really like that about this selector switch. To get to the hop up, what's nice, or what I really like, I personally don't like the stock hop ups where you move it like this. I like rotary style hop ups. Um, so when I pull the charging handle back, open the dust cover, pull the mock bolt back. By the way, it's a mock bolt, so it will not stay back unless you keep the charging handle back. This bolt release here is a fake bolt release, just if you wanted to know. But back to what I was saying, I really like how it's a rotary style hop up because uh, most M4s come stock with that other hop up. I forgot what it was called, but you just, the circle going this way and you have to turn it like this I like the rotary style hop up because it's easier for me to turn it like this. And then close the dust cover. Okay, so the uh, metal high cap just comes in like any other magazine. Magazine release is on the right side only. Pull it out like that. Okay, now we have the simple foregrip here. Just unscrew it regular vert vertical foregrip goes onto the Picatinny rail. Personally, I like to have my stock out completely, just on the sixth notch. Okay. Here it is with the grip and how I would use it. I mean, if I would use it, I'd put my red dot on, but just with this on right now. Oh, it is in, okay. Right now, I don't, I'm not having anything on. I'll just put the rail covers on anyway. It's nice how it comes with rail covers. Lots of RIS M4s, or with the rail integration system, do not come with rail covers. So you have to either find some you have or buy some. It's nice how this comes with some. 
already. Because personally, when I play airsoft, I don't have anything on the side. I just use a foregrip. Um, so it's cool how this comes with rail guards. So just in case you didn't want to use your foregrip, it's comfortable on the sides. Also, you don't get your rails beat up. Looking pretty nice. Let's go shoot it. I need a battery. Can I use your bobsters? Yeah. Robert, here's my bobsters. Oh. Okay, you got them. Cool. That's my part of the video. Okay. Or are you going to shoot it in the backyard? Yeah. So we're going to go in the backyard, shoot this gun, and chronograph it. I'm going to wear the shirts right now. What is that? It's a banner. It's like a flag. Okay, so here we have a Lancer Tactical banner. Okay, then we have a dead rag. Oh gosh. Just a simple Lancer Tactical yeah, dead rag. Okay. And here's the shirt. What's on the back? Okay, I'm just gonna be using the 0.28 BIOS they gave us. We're gonna go chrono first. Now I'm going to load the high cap magazine. Okay. I set the weight on the corner after 0.28. We're gonna see how good this thing shoots, or what the FPS is. Okay, ready? 319, 318, 316, 316, 319, 320, 317, 320, 317. So I was getting an average of 319 FPS. The reason it wasn't that high was because I was using a heavier BB. When normally it just comes with 0.20s for you to use, I got, I was using 0.28s. So let's shoot this gun. Okay guys, let's go bird hunting. I'm gonna go shoot those peeps off that doghouse. I hit the peep three times. I gotta kill all the peeps and then I can kill the target. I already shot it a bunch of times, it just doesn't fall down. Okay, I gotta kill the guy now. I shot him. Okay guys, so that was the end of this video. This is the LTO4 in black, M4 RIS. I think it's pretty cool. It seems like a great beginner gun to me. I didn't have a jam so far. I'm a big fan of the rotary style hop up. Also a big fan of the RIS and the Synog selector switch. So if you're new to Airsoft, I think this would be a great gun for you to get. Bye YouTube, thanks for watching and please subscribe. Peace out.